There's a warning that children in England as young as 11 are carrying knives because they feel unsafe. It's the main finding of one of two reports out today putting youth violence in the spotlight. Research by the Youth Endowment Fund suggests one in five children aged 13 to 17 have been a victim of violence in the past 12 months. It says two out of three children are worried about becoming victims of violence. One in 20 report carrying a weapon, although this figure rises significantly among vulnerable groups, including people with special educational needs. And it says fewer than one in eight children involved in serious violence receive support to prevent future harm. Our correspondent Molly Malone has the details. Two separate but related reports out today, both of them looking at and concerning this rising number of children being associated and involving themselves with uh, violence. The first report was a kind of multi-agency look, so bodies like Ofsted, the Care Quality Commission, uh, bodies that look after and care for children, if you like. Um, and it found, really, it looked at the prevalence and what's driving uh, this rise in violence among young people and teenagers. And it found, as you said, children as young as 11, carrying uh, knives as a form of self-defence in a way, as a form of protection because they're not feeling safe in their neighbourhoods and in their communities. It also drew, drew a link between violence and county lines exploitation, so children being used to take part in organised crime uh, and drug gangs, all of it contributing to young people really not feeling safe, a sense of fear when they're out uh, and about. Now, inspectors found that parents were concerned and that youth violence actually isn't contained necessarily to specific areas, but actually, in their words, is widespread. And yet, to support and access to support actually is not widespread and indeed is actually is contained to certain areas. So it depends on where you live in terms of how much access to funding uh, and preventative kind of measures and programmes to improve uh, and reduce levels of violence. Now, the report by Ofsted, this one by the Care Quality Commission, among others, found that certain minority groups are more heavily infected and involved in these levels of violence than others, so it found children with special educational needs to be more vulnerable to violence and also found children from black and ethnic uh, minority groups. But another report out today actually looked at the sheer number of people, the sheer number of children being involved. It found that one in five to 20 per cent of people, children that they surveyed, were involved, while two thirds of 13 to 17 year olds had a fear and feel scared of it. And in terms of the solutions to so solving it, they said really what's needed is a more holistic approach between agencies coming together. So examples that they allude to is if they find children being treated for, say, stab wounds in hospitals, well, those people that are treating those stab wounds need to quickly be involved uh, and in communication with other agencies so they can provide the kind of background and context to perhaps what's going on in these communities. Now, the government, for their part, say that they're looking to clamp down on this violence. They've banned so-called zombie knives, which is those knives with serrated uh, edges. But the chief inspector of Ofsted in one of these reports call, is calling what happen, what's happening at the moment a national scandal and saying that urgent improvement is needed is, is if we're going to reverse what we're seeing as these current trends.